And tonight, the results are in. Hundreds of people came out to vote for the new name for Jeb Stewart High School in Falls Church. The school board voted in July to change the name of the school, which was named after the Confederate general. Marcella Robertson brings us the story. I'm Lisa McQuail. I'm an alumni of um, Jeb Stewart. Voting day outside of Jeb Stewart High School. So to the most important young Virginian, most people have never heard of. Yeah. Brought out dozens of opinions. On the ballot, 73 different names to choose from. Hopefully that uh, we would have our first high school in Fairfax County named after either a female or a black person, or in this case, both. Kenneth Longmire wants to see the school named after Barbara Rose Johns. She is a female, she was black, and she was a real hero in the integration of public schools, not only in Virginia, but in the United States. You know, we want our kids to really get a good education here. We want them to feel secure and welcome, and we want them to feel like all their classmates feel secure and welcome. I'm here to support the school in every decision they want to make, and if it's important to change the school's name, I will be here to, like, vote and be part of it. In Saturday's results, the name Stuart Raiders had the most points, followed by Thurgood Marshall and Barbara Rose Johns. Regardless of what name is chosen, many believe it's just time for change. So I don't think there's any question that the name Jeb Stewart, um, once you know his full history, if you are a person of color or someone who cares about our brothers and sisters who are people of color, um, you will uh, find that this name is really inappropriate in, in 2017. In Fairfax County, Marcella Robertson, WUSA 9. The school board will officially vote on a name change come October 26.